What's going on, people? It's your boy, and we'll be coming to you with the speed bench day. Once again, 12 weeks out from my next competition. I'm going to try to make this video pretty informative. The first image I have up is a standing position of an actual bench press if I was lying down on the bench. This is what's more traditionally a body, bodybuilding style bench. Elbows flared out. Um, pros and cons to this. The first pro being is you're putting a lot of emphasis on the, the pectoralis. So if you're really trying to develop your pecs, this is the position you want to be in. On the other hand, a con, you're putting a lot of stress on the shoulder and rotator cuff. This is where you see a lot of injuries come about. So if you do decide to lift this way, make sure you don't load the bar too heavy. Now on the other hand, me competing in powerlifting, the style I like to use is more of a 45 degree angle. This way, when it comes to pros, you get a lot more triceps involved, a lot less shoulders, so you're actually... Um, limiting the amount of injuries that can come about. Cons to this type of lifting style is you are using less chest as well as less shoulders. But then again, it's all about what your goal is. If you're someone who's trying to you know, get as strong as you can, you might want to incorporate this lifting style. If you're just going for aesthetics, more of a bodybuilding look, bigger chest, chest um, then stick with the shoulders out. Okay, enough with the boring stuff, let's move on to the workout. Today was chest, speed day. So I didn't go heavy. After warming up on some flies, I moved on to the bench. I spent the majority of the day, well, the entire workout benching. Have 135 on the bar, as you can see, just working on nice and controlled, uh, bringing it down to my chest, and exploding as hard as I can back up. I know I can probably move the bar a little bit faster, but uh, once again, it's first day back off of a week off, so I'm you know, not taking it, not going too crazy. You don't want to get injured first week back, especially being 12 weeks out from this, this next competition. I spent the majority of the workout focusing on a few things that maybe some of y'all don't know about. Uh, one big thing is, is holding your breath, uh, something that I know a lot of people are scared about. Everyone here is, you know, inhale, exhale, make sure you're breathing during the lift, but you know, actually holding your breath is, is actually a maneuver. It's actually called a Valsava maneuver. And it's something that's practiced by any, any good power lifter, any strong lifter, period. And what it does is it actually increases the intra-abdominal pressure within your stomach. And because of this maneuver, I'm, I'm actually able to lower the bar to my chest nice and controlled. And that's what you want to be. When doing any lift, you want to actually control the weight. Don't let the weight control you. That's how you get stronger, that's how you reduce injury. And that's what we're all about here at Dream Bodies. Now, moving on to another style. I don't have a name for this. It's something I just came up with. I haven't seen anyone else doing it, but I don't I don't believe I'm, you know, the creator of it. But for what it is basically is coming down to the chest nice and controlled, pausing right at the the stick point and then firing through. And what this does is it gets your body used to getting past that stick point which you're going to need once you start to go to the heavier weight. Had a big lose spot in me, same concept but 275. Uh, what's going through my mind right now is squeeze. I have everything nice and tight, holding my breath on the way down, pushing the air out on the way up so not to get lightheaded or dizzy. And I'm squeezing the bar as hard as I can. You have to keep everything tight. Any, any loose movements is going to be a no lift. So make sure you remember that when trying to go heavy. Next, I have 315 on the bar. I'm working on a negative. I just get three reps. And uh, one thing about negatives, Big Play Ray covered this. Um, negatives are very good because they increase the time of detention. And you're also resisting the weight. With a slow negative, it requires more force than actually pushing the weight up. So we all know that we're, we're stronger on the weight down. So I'm going very, very slow. I wouldn't recommend going this slow with a heavy weight. But me, I'm, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to basically burn myself out. And I'm a strong believer that if you can get your body to function the way you want it to function, when it's depleted, exhausted, then when you're fresh and ready to go, you're going to explode. You know, And that's, that's how I've trained when I ran track. That's how I trained in the gym. Uh, drop back down to 225, just hit a quick set of 10. All working on the same thing we just covered. Um, staying tight, squeezing the bar as hard as I can, holding the breath on the way down. Everything explodes up and try not to round my shoulders out. Because if you round your shoulders out when pushing it up, all you're doing is flattening your back out. And the flatter your back is, 
the further distance you, have, you actually have to travel. So remember that. I finished off this this bench with a, a paw set 275 back on the bar. And uh, as you can see, all I do is lower it, pause on my chest, maybe a second or two, explode up. Nothing crazy. This is a... Uh, for competition, you actually have to pause until the, the official tells you to lift. So now I'm just training my body to actually stay tight even when I'm in a static position which is just holding the weight finish up with some floor press didn't go heavy I started getting real fatigued at this point in time and anytime I really listen to my body so anytime I start thinking of oh I need to go home and do this or I need to go home and do that I stop my workout because I'm no longer focused and that's how you get injured when you lose focus and lose concentration and you still try to try to work on so I just finished up with some with some floor reps um, with the resistance band, put it around around my upper torso. Uh, of course, as you see, it's attached to the bar. It didn't go any higher than 225. And this is real good because as you push up, the band is pulling down. So the weight is actually getting heavier as you're, as you're pushing up. And it's actually working the negative on the way down because the band is trying to pull it down. So you want to control it up and control the band coming down from coming down onto your chest. But this is a typical speed workout. It's your boy Animal B signing out.